Yo, Inca, you wanna come out here? <laughs> Hello, hey, we're back uh, with more Draft League action. My name is Incog, I'm a part of the UNPL, and today we fight Trexo. Uh, this is a technical late game for week two. I'm using the team that I have been given to go ahead and fight him, and then I get a brand new team uh, next week. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and let's talk about Jake's team. Jake has a Terrapagos, Comfey, Garchomp, Meowth, Grotta, Petra Run, Iron Hands, Corviknight, Vaporeon, Grumpik, and Sneasel. And on screen, obviously, you can see the team, and that has three Terra Captains in the Comfey, which is Fairy, Fire, and Ground. Uh, Vapor uh, Vaporeon is Water, Steel, and Grass, and Grumpig is Psychic, Fairy, and Dark. Uh, our team, if you don't know, is a team that comprises a Latios, a Great Tusk, a Goldango, a Greninja, a Thunderstarian, a Snorlax, Granbull, Delphox, Grottle, and Swalot. My Terra Captains are Snorlax and Delphox. Uh, they both share Fairy, but then where they differ is where Snorlax has Normal and Water, and Delphox has Fire and Grass, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't matter about Delphox. I'm not bringing it this week. I am bringing a team that should surprise Trexo a lot. So Latios, uh, Terra, not, it doesn't really matter if it's Terra Dragon. We have Colgate, Dragonette, Stored Power, Thunderbolt, and Dragon Pulse. Uh, obviously it is max HP, 64 defense, 192 speed. Get off a of D-Dance. And basically against his team, unless he is like Scarf Meowth or something and he knocks off twice or something else, then we'll be okay. Um, I think the other thing is like if it's Vaporeon first and it has like, I, I don't know if it gets like a fairy move or something, or even just like if Tropicos hits Ice Beam or Comfe hits Draining Kiss, uh, our stored power will do so much damage to this team to the point where it becomes funny. Um, so we want to get up a D Dance, get our weakness policy off, and then start going, uh, which is like a plus one to speed, plus three to attack, plus two to special attack. So. I think it's like around 160, 180 base power or something like that. I forget, uh, but it does a lot of damage. So we have Latios, aka Colgate. Next up, we have Blevins, the Greninja. Choice specs Greninja here, man. I mean, it, it does work against him. Um, so Blevins has the choice specs, and it is 56 defense, 252 special attack, and 200 speed. Timid Nature, U-turn, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse. Uh, hits really hard, and his team does not really want to switch into this often uh mostly because it's like iron hands could if it's like av as fuck um everything else kind of doesn't want to like vaporeon is the obvious switching so we can u-turn it to start dark pulsing we'll see how much damage we get off obviously but you know it is what it is but it is a really good uh into pokemon going into this team on the same basis that we are not trying to uh, even creep the meows garter we're just hitting the sneasel realistically and if sneasel shows up it shows up you know what i mean guys um, we didn't even really need Dark Pulse High Key, but if Petron has done anything since week one, and it's proven to me that you have to, uh, build for it. Next up on our team is the Rola Rola, the, uh, the Great Tusk, AKA, uh, Don Fantavius Green Jr. Um, booster energy, boosting defense. So we have 120 attack, 124 defense, 24 spadef, and 240 in speed with the Jolly Nature. Uh, this is more obviously to outpace the uh, Terrapagos, um, but in doing such, we are boosting our defense so that once we get off a bulk up, um, we are hitting really good at body press, um, which as you might see on your screen right here, I mean, you probably already have been looking at it and I wasn't looking because I have two, uh, two things open. Uh, but bulk up body press, earthquakes, uh, supercell slam, hit the entire team for the cycle. Uh, yes, Meowth can crit through us. Yes, I'm very aware it can do that. But you know what? Honestly, at that point, it's Meowth If Meowth is dead, then obviously we get off a few bolt. If we can get off at least one bulk up, Supercell Slam becomes a very funny move against Vaporeon, as long as we don't do the B-U-R-N thing. Uh, but everything else usually doesn't want to take a lot of damage. This usually will open up a lot of holes on Trexo's team. And after that, realistically, we can use different Pokemon to help us. Next up, we have our Terra. Gen 1, aka Snorlax, which is the Terra Fairy with immunity. You're probably wondering, Avery, why do you have immunity? Which you probably don't see on screen until right about now. Hey, so Trexo has Petrarunt, and I don't want to get poisoned. That's it. <laughs> that, that's all. Um, allowing myself to go ahead and get off my Terra stuff and get off a curse. Uh, this entire team doesn't want to fight this Pokemon, 
Body Slam is really good. Wild Charge is good for Corviknight. Uh, Terra Blast Fairy is good for Mouskarada. Uh, Garchomp and Iron Hands, but I mean, it's Iron Hands and they are probably not going to do too much. Uh, Body Slam is just a general good stab. And yeah, I mean, that, that that's really it. It has leftovers. Um, EV spread. It's 252 attack, 72 defense, and 172 speed. Yes, you heard that. 172 speed. Yeah, that's right. The slowest Pokemon on our team is creeping in Iron Hands. <laughs> For no reason, by the way, I should say, um, I don't know who let me build this. Who let me cook? Um, but basically what the idea there was is while we could have put it into Spideff, we didn't really need it. We have base one. 30 or some some uh, 110 spdf um yeah man i mean if we're not if we're gonna be like if we haven't cursed yet we could just terror blast the iron hands twice and still do a chunk of damage we don't have to curse it's a pretty it's pretty dope if you ask me anyways thunderous is bulkier this week we have cataracts yes sir heavy duty boots uh you know 164 hp 112 special attack and a 130 and 232 speed Use your knockoff wild bolt and taunt, so they probably weren't going my modest if I have two attacking moves. Or well, just looking to dispatch this team with it, uh, with our moves. We can taunt everything. Starting off, uh, the Comfey, the Vaporeon, uh, probably like Iron Hands with SD, Corviknight, Grumpig trying to set up on us. Like, there's a lot of Pokemon to taunt here. And knockoff items is going to be really crucial here because we want to make sure they don't get back any boost. Uh, or get back any HP with leftovers and stuff like that. So, pretty good Pokemon for this game, if I do say so myself. Um, and, uh, you know, you see that last Pokemon over there. You're probably like, Aver, what the fuck, man? All right, listen. This is a Goblin Mode. All right, listen. Lock in with me and come in here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes, you, yes, you, come here. Listen. This Grotto set is not even supposed to be here. I said to myself, I'm going to fuck around and find out with this team. Because this team is generally good. But I'm gonna fuck around and find out right now, this time in America. Listen, Evil like Grottle, shell armor, okay? Can't get crit by nothing. Not me out Scarada, no Nathan. Lead Seed Synthesis, Sand Tomb, and Seed Bomb, my nigga. I am trapping, quote, trapping the Comfe, Lead Seeding it, and pointing at it and calling it brown. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between, all right? Listen. Comfe is a pretty uh Comfe is a pretty big threat, so at least be able to leech seed it and then switch out. Pretty easy stuff there. Um Pokemon's gonna want to be getting back health, and obviously we can just prevent it by just being an asshole. Um but with that being said though, honestly, uh you look at this and I haven't gone over the EVs, or at least I haven't a lot. 212 HP, 172 in Spadef, and 124 in speed. Yes, again, there is an Iron Hands that we are creeping for no reason at all. Um, Trexo really likes Iron Hands, as far as I can understand. So he might bring it this week. Um, but obviously, it is one of those Pokemon that does what it wants to do. Uh, basically, the game plan here, uh, for my perspective here, so you guys can hear it. So, I already have the team in here, but let's just go over it over here. <laughs> all right, so basic lead options. We have Blevins. If I see me out Skirata, I probably will just lead off Cataracts, honestly, and just watch me get knocked off of my boots while I go for a, like, Wild Boat Storm or something. Because, obviously, with this, um, this allows me to know that, first off, he becomes a Dark type, and second off, I can get off a Wild Boat Storm, which would be great to paralyze. If he has Garchomp and Meow Skirata, this enables Goblin Mode. Uh, obviously, Meow Skirata leads. I'm not getting knocked off. I need that Evo Light. <laughs> um, but, um... Let's say, for instance, I lead off Blevins and I see Mel Scarada, right? Peep game, right? I might just go hard Lax and call it it. I might just lead Lax. You know what? Fuck it, nigga. I'm leading Lax. I already decided. We're leading Snow Lax this game. Uh, basically, Meow Scarada can knock off our leftovers, I guess. And if we Terra Fairy instantly, then Terra Blast will probably either one-shot it or it'll just do a lot of damage. If he U-turns into something like... Genesequa Corviknight or something else. I mean, that's fine. Then we get off a wild charge. I think we might just curse turn one and then see what he opts to do. Um, Meow Scar is a really good lead into my team because fun fact, it destroys his team. Before I knew that Bread was going to be dropping, um, we were discussing this matchup. And then obviously, once I got the team, I basically just muted his server. <laughs> and um, I wanted to make sure, you know, you know, I help him. Sometimes he helps me, you know. Type shit, type shit. Uh, so yeah, 
we're gonna see how well this goes honestly this could go either really good or really bad um i expect terror ground Confe as i was looking at his team it looks really dangerous into me and then i don't know vaporeon could be scary i guess i don't fucking know does that get call mind this it might if it does then that's a problem but we're, we will worry about it later next time on incog ball z uh let's get into the match hey you didn't skip this part of the video so you get to see something really special oh a black screen that shows my team wow this is the new team i'm gonna have week three moving forward uh exedra latios tyranitar greninja thunderous therian monkey dory Whimsicott, Delphox, Phalanx, Swalot, and Vigoroth. Terras are Monkey Dory with Psychic, Flying, and Fairy, which you might change flying, honestly. Phalanx with Fighting, Ghost, and Steel, and Vigoroth with the normal Stellar and Fire. Look forward to using this team. Uh, week 3 is going to be a doozy, if I do say so myself, but we'll get into that after the battle. So thank you guys for uh, uh, you know not, not skipping this part, because this is a really important part, so you guys get to see this team. I really like this team. Uh, the Terra on Monkey Dory could definitely be better uh, instead of just Psychic Fairy. I think we need a third one that's even better. I'm thinking Steel. I'm thinking Ghost. We'll see what I'm thinking later. But let's get into the Week 2 matchup at least. All right. We're going to get started against uh, Trexo, a.k.a. my boy Jake, and his goddamn goddams. Um, Glacado, Glacado, Glamora. Um, I got to play him in silence because, uh, you know, I'm saying... You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? I got to play him in science because my computer... I think I just need to get a, uh, some stuff upgraded on my PC because it always isn't coding overload. But I think that's also because of the way I record my stuff. Um, but that could, that's no here nor there. Um, we'll see what 6 he brings. Uh, that's the more relevant information for you guys. So uh, I'll cut back in when uh, we're ready to go. Jake's my dog. There he is. All right. Here we go. That is not at all what I was expecting. Okay. There's a grump pig on my screen. That makes sense. That makes sense. I guess. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm kind of low key, high key shit posting. We do see the iron hands though. So meow. Scarado. Iron hands. We don't see Garchomp. High key. We might be able to get off a fucking crazy ass lead here. Vaporeon, uh, Confei, and Grumpig. I, I mean, you know, we'll see how this goes. He obviously sees the Grottle. After the first week with the damn fucking Petcherut and the Gloom stuff, man, I'm pretty sure he's going to be like, what the fuck? Why'd you break this? Don't, don't even worry about that, cuz. Don't even worry about that. Uh, we can realistically leave Blevins and go stew no pickles. Um, Because we don't see Garchomp. It could be Knock of Meowth into a Terra Fairy. Ter Fairy Blast. Fairy Fairy Blast. Fairy Blast. Actually, let's just leave Cataract and U-Turn. See what happens, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be calcing. I'm just going to be playing. You know the vibe. You know the vibe. Uh, Hazards. He has none. He has a Rapid Spinner, though, in the Tropagos. No, he has Hazards in Meowth so he could technically put up Hazards. Um, spikes and T-Spikes, but nothing else, really. Uh, I forgot the Grumpix Terra. Uh, I think it's Psychic Fire in some moves, something like that. I don't remember, dog. Let's see what he does. He leads out Eloise. That is the Meowscarada. I watch my friend's videos, and I also watch him when he live battles, so I know this nickname. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a U-turn. <laughs> I'm a <eat> it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's just watch this. He's gonna either knock off or he's gonna set up a T spike or a regular spike. We don't have a poison type, so if I see a T spike, I can probably go into Ladio safely and Dragon Dance once and then go for an attack. Uh, we'll see what he opts to do. He might just hard pivot into like Comfey or Iron Hands. Probably Iron Hands, honestly, because the U turn ain't gonna do shit to that. But we'll see what he opts to do. He U turns. Hey, look at that. Who would have guessed? 261. Good God. Why'd you do so much damage, nigga? Nah, I have a lot of HP, bro. 261 was that? Fuck, dude. Choice band? Am I afraid of triple axle? Yeah, I am, but I don't really give a fuck. Uh, 120. That's Iron Hand. Little hand James. That's funny. Wait, 261 down from what? 341? That's 80 something damage, bro. That's about 79, so he's not choice, man. That's good. 
Um, yeah, he might just be regular in a, uh, item, with no choice item. Uh, I don't know. Going to roll a roller and see what we get off. Listen, this is my breaker right now, bro. We just gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, Iron hands. What's up, my nigga? Um, let's see. Great tusk will not kill with an earthquake, but at plus one, we do end up killing with an earthquake. His switching would be the something. I don't know. I'm a bulk up. Yeah, he's switching all the time. So that's good. We get off a really nice bulk up here. We could see. Okay, that's a Vaporeon, I think. Uh, Vaporeon max defense. Do you live that? Do you live Supercell Slam? You do. That's nasty, nigga. Okay. Well, um. Yeah, I believe you do, right? Okay, so I already got the defense boost. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, if I if I do it twice, oh, uh, well, I clicked the wrong button. That's okay, I guess. I don't know why I did that. I shouldn't have. I meant to just go for Supercell Slam, but I didn't. He goes for Scald. It's gonna do a fuck ton. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think he dies necessarily, but we're gonna find out if he protects. No, he doesn't. I don't know if he dies. Oh, he does. Okay, cool. All right, Great Tusk kills uh, this thing. I meant to just click it, but I don't know his investments. I just called for max, max defense, and he definitely lived. Um, so that's funny, I guess. So Vaporeon's dead. That allows uh, Greninja. Greninja goes hard. Eloise is the Mouse He's going to click Flower Trick or something. Um, I'm going to go into Grottle and Sand Tomb something when it comes in. I don't really need this Pokemon per chance, but like it'd still be nice to have like an earthquake on Iron Hands and to have other things be in range. Go Goblin Mode, go. <laughs> Do my bidding. Look at that damage. No crits, no dick, no balls. Um, Is he gonna knock off here? I wonder. He might be Choice Scarf actually. Now that I think about it, he could be. If I say into him, am I an asshole? I think I am. I'm going to say into I think that's a great decision. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. Actually, I can't leech seed without seeing Terrapagos. So I have to say into him here. Starboy, that's Terrapagos for sure. Um, I guess I could have leech seeded there, but I wanted to say into him just to get him to stay in here. Um, well, Goblin Moan missed. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, there we go. Same to him. <laughs> Jake's probably like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? <laughs> um, does that free you from trapping moves? I think it does. I think it does. I don't actually remember the properties of Rapid Spin, so we're going to Elite Seed. <laughs> I'm sure he's sitting there like, Avery, what the fuck? Oh, no, I shouldn't be here, but that's okay. I'm Spadef. He can't. He ain't got it. 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 Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. He ain't got it. He not built like this. He not built like me. <laughs> Watch this, man. I got, I got this. I got this. I got this. Don't even worry about it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you can hear the fear of my voice. No, don't even worry about it. I got him. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Does that? Hold on. Now I gotta look this up. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh fuck, nigga. Oh man. Oh my god, it literally does. Oh my God, it literally does. Oh my God, this is gonna be awful if, I, if he does it. Okay, he did, just tear Star Stone. That's gonna hurt. <sighs> okay, he does not have the move that we're thinking. He does not have it. Does Terrapicos get Rapid Spin? Or uh, not Rapid Spin, uh, Recover? Does Terrapicos get any recovery? This is how you know I don't know nothing about this Pokemon. <laughs> this is how you know I don't know nothing about this Pokemon, cousin. Oh man, he's gonna tear Star Storm. We're gonna pick up a fucking. We're gonna pick up a body with Grotto, my nigga. <laughs> oh my god, nigga. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Jake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna let Rolla Rolla die. Good job, Goblin Bill. You did it. I can put him on the thumbnail before I lose, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's go. He's gonna U turn and knock. He's gonna knock. Okay. Uh, 69 down two. Hold on. That's a 39er. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to body press in case I live. Live? Fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb, nigga. Oh my god. All right. Um. Damn. What the fuck do I do now? <laughs> now what do we do? <laughs> we can go back into cataract and just u-turn honestly uh, i think that's a fine decision we can also knock off but i want to knock this off uh if i knock i don't want to knock this off primarily because um right now as it stands knocking this off would be a bad idea um realistically i can u-turn into latios and see if he wants to pop my weakness policy by getting rid of tropicals and Vaporeon, and we're in a great situation but grumpig and come can still win the game and that's a problem Still getting off our U-turn damage. We see still no Rocky Helmet. We could have knocked off there technically, but eh. I don't know, man. I'm not going goblin mode again, guys. Don't worry. Yeah. Cause he'll have us he'll have ice punch or something. It will live it and then we can store power this. Um, I'm pretty sure. If he pivots hard out, that's fine. But we still have story power, which is good. Uh, let me see how much come phase uh, draining because does raw, though. Uh, I already clicked the move, but I want to see that, though. If it's like max defensive come phase, um, He does have the ice punch eat does 102 at max to Latios does this kill or is he AV as fuck it kills awesome nice job Latios uh, 102 maximum there's no investment um, if he has, if he's modest, it'll probably kill us, right? If he's modest, it does 114 max. Uh, given that he went into this, we know it's Scarf now. 114 doesn't kill us. We are plus one, plus one. Knockoff here from Meowscarado definitely kills, I imagine. He's definitely Choice Scarf, though. He's definitely Choice Scarf. Given how he's playing this. Uh, knockoff. No item. Does, yeah, it definitely kills us. Uh... <laughs> We, are fa we aren't faster because he's definitely Scarf, but uh, he has Comfey and Grumpig left. Do I beat those two? I can beat one of them with Goblin Mode, and the other one I can beat with Blevins. So I think we can we can safely let this one go. Uh, let's just Dragon Pulse. See what he's about. Okay, just U-Turns. U-Turn uh, will definitely kill us. It should. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I mean, Meowskarado was going to be a problem for my team anyway, regardless of what I was doing. Um, so that's that's interesting to note. I mean, he has Comfey and Grumpig. I mean, each of those Pokemon don't want to fight fucking... They don't want to fight that damn Grottle. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is a pig. Okay. Why don't I remember what this Terra thing is? <laughs> uh, I don't want to open up the dock again because then it'll, it'll lag everything. Damn. I really don't fucking remember. Is it psychic fighting in fire? I don't remember. Um, it's definitely going to be some bullshit, so I'm just going to hydro. I'm going to start hydroing because that'll get us some good kills. All right, Blev. Uh, yeah, hydro pump. I'm not going to Dark Pulse here. I'm not that crazy. I am stupid, but I'm not crazy. I think you have a Terra Fairy on this. I'm not sure. I also don't know what else. I, I could have U-turned, I guess, but then it's like I also don't know what this Pokemon does. Um, primarily, so we'll see. I'm not, um, not... Actually, you know, fun fact. Uh, he's gonna Terra. While I'm talking about this, I don't know if I can run Battle Bond. 
someone in the comments from UNPL can let me know. Um, but also, additionally, um, I'll, I guess I'll ask probably in the chat because I definitely don't remember. Um, and I didn't see it in the rules if I could or if I couldn't. Yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, he did hit. Thank God. Nope. No, he missed. No, no, he missed. It's okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Greninja. You, you tried, I guess. You tried. Uh, let's try it one more time, please, Greninja. Please, Blevins. Hey, Blev. Hey, man. Can you, can you hit that attack for me there, sport? Can you hit it? I just need you to hit one. If you hit one, that'd be... Thank you. All right. That's very AV. That's very AV or just Bedef. I don't know. I don't know anything about Grumpig. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, you know what? What does Psychic Noise do? Psychic Noise is the non-healing one, right? Right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's knock it off and then just Wild Boat Storm it. Um, so if I find out it's AV, then I can Wild Boat Storm it after. So I'll knock it off. Grotto can Grotto can 1v1 the War of Attrition versus Kumpe. Um, and Snorlax fucking rips now. I would taunt him, but I think he might be assault vest as fuck. I actually don't know. Uh, knock off. We see AV. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, he is just going to Dazzling Gleam, which will probably do a lot. I don't know if it'll kill unnecessarily from 261 down to 113. Oh, yeah, that didn't kill. That's good. Uh, we could U-turn. Will we U-turn into Lax? Probably not. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to Wild Boat Storm, honestly. I want to see if I can get some good damage on this. Thank you. Thank you, Cataract. Thank you. Thank you, Cataract. <laughs> How did I know that would happen? It is what it is, though. I, I am playing. I am playing the game that I have sworn that I should stop playing, but I'm still playing. Um, and that's nothing against Jake. I just, you know, so, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes life hand gives you lemons, you know. So, all right, let's get it. We can't be poisoned, so let's go ahead and uh, Terra Fairy Blast, or do I just curse? I'm gonna curse here. I feel like that's a fine decision. Terra Water's ass here. Terra Normal would have been cool, I guess, but Terra Fairy is, like, objectively great on Snow X. You avoid fighting. The poison is awful. You can be immunity. There's a lot of things. I love this dumb motherfucker. Ow. That's 100 damage. Okay. So I can't heal myself with leftovers, which is fine. Um, but I do get off a curse. Uh, I assume this dies. I just assume. It's a Grump Pig. Like I said, I don't know anything this thing does, but I do know that it was Assault Vest. Um, we are plus one. Uh, we are Terra Ferried. Um, we should probably kill this with a Body Slam now. Yeah, it works. Dazzling Gleam will probably do a little bit more than 100. It did like 105, so that's cool, I guess. We kill the Grumpig with Snorlax, which is great. That grotto, I don't know why I'm holding on to it with my dear life, but the fact that I can prevent a Comfe from putting up Leech Seed on me is very important for the rest of this game. Um, which is the primary use of that Pokemon, by the way, to just fuck with me. I love Comfe. It's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, actually. That is the Masquerada. Okay. I'm confused. And that's okay. Does he put up a T-Spike? He might put up a T-Spike. He might. He might. Do I kill this with anything crazy? I mean, it does about 231 to me from here. If it's Choice Scarf Jolly. And if he is just pure grass. Uh, Terra Fairy Blast has a chance to kill. Body Slam has a chance to kill. Everything has a chance to kill. All right, I'm going to Body Slam here. I think he just goes with Flower Trick him. Yeah. Which I guess you could argue I should have just gone into the grotto. But again, I... Yeah. About 202 damage. That's definitely smart. Nice. Good job, Snorlax. That's a good kill. All right. Snorlax picks up its second kill. Good job. Comb phase, the only thing in our way. And that's a leech seater. And I can probably beat that with grotto. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna go for body slam on his leaf seed or draining kiss. I think that's fine. Or his calm mind, really. That could be fine too. Let's see what he opts to do. He does his draining kiss, 86 down to 43. That is 43% points, or hit points rather. Body Slam does a great chunk, no paralysis. He has leftovers, I have leftovers. I think he kills me here and then we just get off our leech sheet and go from there. If he sub Comfey against Grottle, that's actually kind of baller for him. Uh, let me check out if my Seed Bomb breaks any subs. Oh, I Body Slam again. That did way less damage. Why'd that do less damage? I don't know. Um, it must be a fucking crazy ass roll. Seed bone is 23.5 max, max, max. Okay, we get a crit. All right, well, that's GG's. Uh, GG's for real. Uh, we win. We pick up a 2 OW over Jake. Uh, we fight somebody next week. Not sure who it is, but we fight them. And we're going to have a respectable time. This was a funny ass game for me to do the grotto trick. Um,. I wasn't expecting to win this game. I kind of went into this de building like a demon and it worked out this time. Next time, however, we'll have a new team. If you looked during the video to see what I was running, then you would know what Pokemon that is, obviously, or what Pokemon so those are on my new team. You should probably go back and go see that. Next week, uh, we play Phil Guy. Phil, It's a Philadelphia team. I'm gonna lag my uh, OBS for two seconds here. Um, I don't think his name is Phil Guy, and I feel really bad for saying that. No, it's Golden Guy with the Philadelphia Pincers. Okay, I was halfway there. All right, guys. <laughs> he, he has a very uh, scary team, but with our new team, we'll see how we can combat this team. Uh, once again, GG to Jake, uh, and, uh, you know, talk to you guys next time in the UNPL. Peace.